It's 8 a.m., people. It's time to change the channel. Welcome to Squawk Box Radio, the place where nothing real happens, and I care a little what you think about that. Today in the news, we see that wrestling midgets were killed by fake hookers. Scientists claim that oxygen believed to be in the air. Overweight people suing spoon manufacturers. Little train stuck on hill thought he could make it. I'm your host, STD J, the DJ that just won't go away. Today our guest is Travis Clark. Welcome back, Travis. It's good to be back. Before we begin, let's enjoy a nice word from our sponsors. For a great evening out, there's no place like Aunt Lottie's Leftover Cafe. Located on historic Highway 178, right next to the local hazardous waste disposal site, the Leftover Cafe is a truly unique dining experience. There are no printed menus, but our courteous and professional staff will help guide you in your dining choices. The Leftover Cafe features cuisine from some of the finest dining establishments in the area, and it's served piping hot on our trademark Melmac dinner plates. Aunt Lottie's chefs are highly trained, and they're experts in combing the neighborhood to find the finest culinary cuisine for your dining pleasure. Aunt Lottie's Leftover Cafe is not responsible for any medical issues you have from eating our food. And we are back. So yesterday, we heard the story of young Travis and his parents. Today, I want to talk about that ring on your finger. Someone must have tamed the fiery, mythological creature known as Travis Clark. If you don't mind, Travis, tell us another riveting story. Let the people know the true Travis. Just because it's a myth doesn't mean it's not real. I'll start the story a little more current. 20 years ago. Ah, yes. 20 years ago. I had less money, more hair, and the women were wilder. I remember my third wife, but we're not here to talk about me. Please continue. I just married Becky, and we were living on base. Base? As in the military? Yes. <clears throat> oh, say, can you see? We don't have the rights to that song. Man, shut up. The people's got to hear my pipes. <clears throat> <coughs> eh, maybe not. Sorry, Travis. Go ahead. You sing about as good as me. But anyways, Becky and I were living on the base. I just finished basic training and, well, this happened. I can't believe how lucky I am. Lucky? What are you talking about? I don't know if it's like I'm living in serendipity. Serendipity? It's one of my favorite words. What does it mean? It means a fortunate accident. So I'm an accident. <laughs> you're an accident waiting to happen, but you're mine. What if I go somewhere and something happens to me? Oh, it, it will happen. But life will guide you home and I'll, I'll try to fix you. Fix me? Am I broke? Not yet. So I will be. Is a shooting star beautiful? What are you getting at? A shooting star is broken and damaged, but can still be beautiful. Beauty of whatever kind and its supreme development invariably excites the sensitive soul to tears. Well, I know you're not sensitive. It is because I think so much of warm and sensitive hearts that I would spare them from being wounded. Oliver Twist. You know I love that book. Yep. So, Mrs. Clark, what do you want to do tonight? Movie, relax, go out to dinner? I love it when you call me that. Are you on the menu? I am always on the menu. Love is like a river, never-ending stream. Love is shared by each other to answer someone's dream. <laughs> I just go wild when you recite poetry. Anyone who doesn't appreciate poetry doesn't understand that it's all about seduction. Our truest life is when we are in our dreams awake. Shut up and kiss me. Travis, I have to admit, I was squirming in my pants a little too. I mean, look at you. You're built like a rock. You're a philosopher, a poet. I wanted to kiss you. Who are you? I've been nothing but myself since the day I was born. And if you can't see that, it's your fault, not mine. Travis, I've got to hear more. We've got to hear more. Later that evening, I was reading. Go figure. You have a hot, willing woman, and you are there reading. 
Becky comes up to me and says, Travis, I want to start a family. I want to have little Clarks running all over the place. <coughs> what? I'm serious. I need something to keep me busy when you go off and save the world. Becky, we have time for that. I'm not going anywhere. The world is quite peaceful right now. I just want to be prepared. You are the dumbest and smartest person I've met in a while. You have this woman, your wife, begging to make love to you, and you're here trying to rationalize? I mean, wake up, man. You can be wrong a million times. You only have to be right once. Were you right ever? Becky and I continued to talk through the night, talking about the possibilities of children, and we agreed to start a family. Call it a clan, call it a tribe, call it a family. Whatever you call it, whoever you are, you need one. Becky always had a way with me. She knew how to get my attention and to agree with her. Every woman that lifts her shirt does that to me. Well, not every woman, but most. And as far as family, I like a big, caring, loving family. In another city. Maybe for you that works, but I never saw Becky as an object. I respected her. I cared about her. I truly loved her. Please, continue with your story. We made love that night. Not like any other time, though. This time was different. Did you use cuffs? Feathers? Whips? Come on, man. Details. Details. It is not a joke, man. We felt as one. Our bodies intertwined. It was, it was an experience like no other. Afterward, we cuddled and I said, You are what I've been searching for, chasing after. Longing to find every star, moonbeam, and young child's dream. All of my everythings. So infinitely far away, yet so intimately close here in my arms. How do you do that? Do what? You know how to love me. I just do. If I know what love is, it is because of you. Whatever you're doing, don't stop. Promise me, you'll never stop. Becky, I'll never stop loving you. With that, we fell asleep. I got up the next morning, being careful not to wake her, put on my uniform, had my morning cup of coffee, and went to PT. Later that day, the world stopped. What happened? You know those two towers? Well, that was that day. I deployed out three days later, leaving Becky and the world I knew behind me. I began to change everything I thought I knew was not right anymore. I tried to hang on, but time has a funny way of not staying still. Sometimes I think I need another heart to fill all the things I feel. Travis, damn man. I got to hear more. But that's all the time we have today. Can you come back tomorrow? The people have to hear this story. Yeah, I'll come back. It's starting to feel good to tell my story. Alrighty, folks. That's a wrap today. Let's give it up to Travis, the man, the myth, the legend, the lover, the fighter. We will find out soon enough, I think. Let's hear from our sponsors. Do you ever feel like you're spending too much time looking for the right tool? Have you ever just wanted to buy an animal for no reason whatsoever? Then come on down to Annette's General Store. Annette's General Store is filled with items that you just can't live without, from simple buckets and bags of feed to high-tech gizmos that tell whether or not your eggs are fertile. Annette's General Store. If you have money, you are bound to buy useless items here. And that is not responsible for any lost animals once purchased. If you are not fast, don't buy them. Do you ever feel lost in the woods? Do you ever feel alone with nothing to do? Then book your stay at the Lazy Bear Lodge, a place that offers nothing but bugs and some of the doors don't even work. A place where you can leave it all behind. Lazy Bear Lodge is your place to kick back now. Taxes and shovels to bury bodies, not included with press. All right. Now for the green DJ with no weed, DJ Agro. 